Hello there fellow NPCs, I am Garbin Scythe and today we're going to continue to play acting lessons. Uh, we had some uh, quinkadink with uh, Leah in the last episode. And uh, yeah, in today's episode we are going to watch uh, Megan's play with uh, Rena. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have the front row tickets if... Uh, if uh, what Melissa said, uh, if uh, we're doing what Melissa suggested, essentially. But uh, yeah, and also we're going to go to a cabin the day after this. Mm, that's gonna be fun with uh, Melissa, Rena, Leah, Megan, possibly Leah if I get my wishes through. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. Friday, the day of the play. Help me, Kurt! I can't find them. Uh, what what are you looking for, Megan? My shoes! I can't find them anywhere! Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I saw them in the hallway before. No, they're definitely not there! Fuck it! I, I take another pair! Wow, I haven't heard her swear before. She must be very nervous about tonight. We can leave now. Megan, relax. You're going to be great. You've practiced so much. Thank you, Kurt. I know that I shouldn't be this nervous, but I can't help it. Finally, I get to do a real acting job. I'm so proud of you. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you, Kurt. I hope you understand how much you've meant to me. You too, Megan. I'm really looking forward to seeing you on stage tonight. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. Good luck, Megan. Break a leg. Let's go and pick up Melissa. You're not supposed... You were half right there. You're not supposed to wish someone luck on in the theater. You should just wish them to break a leg. Isn't that the thing? Hi, Melissa. How are you? What the hell? What the hell? Did Peter do this to you? I don't know what to do, Kurt. Please help me. He's been acting all weird this week. And a couple of nights ago... If this is about sexual abuse, then... Uh... Oh, what the fuck are you doing here in the corner? Is that the door? I can't see, it's so dark. He just came into my room and went berserk. That's fucking it, Nessa. You can't stay here. You're coming home with us after tonight. I will not let you be hurt like this anymore. I'm scared. It's never been this bad before. I don't know what has gotten into him. Mom couldn't even stop him. Shit. Because of me, he probably took out all that aggression on Melissa. Why couldn't I just keep my cool? We're going straight to the police with this. I fucking hide with that asshole. Please don't. I'm afraid he hurt my mom too. But we must, Melissa. I don't get why you would tiptoe around it. Leaving it to be is obviously not making it any better. Can we do it after the play at least? I don't want to miss it. Fine. But we're not letting it go this time. We must get you and your mom that help you need. Obviously, physical abuse is something not to be taken lightly. Are you sure are you sure you still want to go to the play? I can drop you off at my place if you want to. No, I want to see Megan's performance. I'll be alright. Thank you so much for caring about me. Beside you and Megan, feels like I like no one else does. We'll get through this together, Melissa. I promise. I have a couple of sunglasses in the glove department you can borrow if you want. Yes, please. You're strong enough to head inside? Yeah. I feel much better with you around. 
Wow, there's a whole lot of people here tonight. No sign of sign of Liam. No sign of Liam though. Look, Hedwig, remember that guy? Kurt? Oh no. Are they actually socialites? Is that what's going on here? Hi, girls. Hi there. Long time no secret. Secret. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing here? Watching the play, of course. This is my friend Melissa. Hi. Why are you wearing sunglasses? That's a private matter, Angela. So is Liam feeling better? What, what do you mean by that? I thought he told you. As we were heading back to the place, he started vomiting all of a sudden. <sighs> he said that he wasn't feeling well, so we helped him get, get home. Liam. Are you getting too old for this, you two? That's strange. Liam bragged about his sexual adventure when I talked to him. And he called me a lightweight when I didn't want more beer. Ah, yes, right, that, yeah, he is feeling much better. That's good to hear. Say hi to him from us. Bye. So, who were those two broads? Oh, well, I didn't do anything, so I'll tell her. Angela and Hedwig. L Angela and Hedwig. Liam and I met them at the Inferno last weekend. Sounds like you had some fun together, huh? And I'm sorry, Pancake, but you really should do something about this text here. It is so extremely hard to read. Black on white, black on white. You'll have to ask Liam about that. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! Enter Liam. What's up, peeps? It's not an opera, Liam. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Messi, what the fuck happened to you? Well, we'll talk about it later. Uh, but I think you already know exactly what happened. I'm going to kill the fucker. Please, Liam, chill. Don't get riled up right now. Yes, we're going to straight to the police after the play. Alright, alright. You okay, though? I feel better now, thanks to Kurt. I'll be staying with him and Megan for a while. My boy. Good. Good. Let's go inside and take our seats. It's starting soon. I can't believe how nervous I am for her. Well, this is fucking huge. Not an empty seat in here. Relax, boys. Megan's a pro. There's no way she'll fuck this up. I hope you're right, Melissa. Should I confront Liam about me, my talk with Angela and Hedwig? Do we have to do it now? Hmm. <laughs> Let's shame him a bit. So, Liam, I met Angela and Hedwig outside the theater. Oh, you did? How are they? They were fine. They mentioned something to me. About last Saturday. Apparently you didn't have that the great time you told me you had. Listen, Kurt. Sorry for lying to you. Look, the play is starting. Can we talk about it another time? Yeah, sure. I hope this doesn't mean I'm actually disappointed in him. Because we're, if we're this good friends, we should be able to fuck around. That should not be a problem. Bring us a... Very good in this play. I'm amazed by her acting. So captivating. Oh, there's Megan. What's the matter with you, girl? Why are you so quiet? You usually make me feel better than after a breakup. Why is this time so different? I can't hold it in anymore, yo. I feel like I'm caught in a never-ending story with you. You get hurt, then I make you feel better. Then you get hurt again, and it repeats. Isn't that what friends are for, Yenna? 
to support each other no matter what? You truly are blind, aren't you? What is this, the third time I'm doing this? These lines? Don't you see that I hurt too? I cry myself to sleep thinking about it. When are you going to open your eyes and see me? You know, what is it that you're trying to say? I'm trying to say that I love you, you idiot. Blah la 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 la. Holy shit, Kurt! Shh! Hey, I love you. I wish that I could love you that way you love me, you know? Oh, how I wish. But I can't. I don't want to lose you, Yana. I'm oh, sorry, yo. This is too much. I, I must leave. Wow, she's remarkable. <laughs> Just listen to all the applause. Everyone's loving it. Everyone loved it. Best play ever! <laughs> don't like like you see plays all the time, Liam. Well, no, I don't, but it still was the best one. I've tried to watch plays uh, once or twice, and I just could not wrap my head around it. I heard of uh, the term theater speech, and uh, that's how I would translate it anyway. Uh, when they, not actually shouting, but they are putting a lot of power behind how they talk, and sometimes emphasize the specific words in order to really um, bring out those words, and I just can't deal with it. It just sounds... it's very cringy to my ears. I tried it at least. Hey guys, did you like it? Liked it? I loved it! You were wonderful, Megan! Yeah, that was some... that was some tight shit! I'm so proud of you, girl. This is your fate, not again. Hey, we'll talk about it later. In your mo your moment now. I really enjoyed the kissing scene. But thank you all for coming. It was so fun and it felt so good. Hey guys, can I have a, mo have a moment alone with Kurt? Sure, come, Missy. Let's go over here. How are you feeling, Megan? Absolute bliss. Every bit of stress just disappeared as I went on stage. You truly did an outstanding performance. Thank you. It really feels like things are starting to turn around for me. And while I'm at this high that I feel right now, I wanted to ask you something. I've been thinking a lot this past weekend. About you and I. I want to do it. I want to take the risk. I was thinking that we could try dating and learn more about each other. If you want to, that is. I'd love to, Megan. I think I would be great for us if we explored our feelings for each other. Hey, Kurt. Guess who I am? Romeo, Romeo! Why the fuck art thou Romeo? Yeah, <laughs> right? No, <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Liam. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step down from the stage. To get serious for a bit, <laughs> we're heading to the police station before we go home. This Peter situation has to end. I agree, Kurt. She can't live like this. I've asked Melissa to come stay with us for the time being. How would you feel about that? It's a wonderful idea, Kurt. You're amazing, you know that, right? <laughs> and uh, I I am reacting blah not because I am uh, disgusted, repulsed, or anything like that, but uh, but because it feels like it's out of nowhere. It's like no build up. It suddenly is boom. We're kissing now. That's why I'm reacting like that. I'm not uh, necessarily against it. But he has to... it's very rushed. When it, when it happens, it's very rushed. Melissa, please feel... Please feel like this is your home. 
Thanks. But this place is much better than home. Sorry for the poor, sorry for the poor show, shows of words. I'm so glad you're just staying here with us, Melissa. We'll figure this out together. We're here for you. You're so strong to finally report Peter to the police. Thank you, Kurt. I wasn't sure they would believe me at first. I'm so glad you guys were there with me. I love you guys. We love you too, Melissa. Is it okay if I smoke up? I need, we need to mellow out tonight. Drugs, Melissa? Really? Megan, let it go. Megan, let it go. He's been through a lot. Go ahead, Melissa. Just do it outside, please. Got it. So, Kurt? Yes? Thank you for everything you do for me and my friends. You're wonderful. You too, Megan. Aside from the situation with Melissa, I feel so happy right now. Me too. <laughs> At this rate, everyone I know will be living together with you eventually. Maybe we just should have Rena move in as well. Don't tempt me, lady. <laughs> yeah, these couple of weeks have really changed my day-to-day -day life. I guess I'm really turning my place into a shelter, like you said. I hate to keep harping on about it, but I must ask. Are you sure you can afford all this? I know it costs a lot more money than living alone, but I really want to do it. In a weird way, this is giving my life some sort of purpose. Honestly, not having a job to go to gets pretty dull. That is actually true. Besides, this situation is not permanent. We both know that. So I'll definitely be fine in the long run. Okay, then I'll stop worrying about it. But I'm so glad that I can start to pay you back soon. Uh, accept payment, uh, because even if money isn't a big deal for Kurt in this, it is the standard way of accepting and taking responsibility. In... Yeah. So this is not necessarily for me, to, for her not to feel uh, dependent on me. These kind of transactions is also for her to feel that she is contributing. And that she's, well, yeah, that she's not dependent. Um, but it's for her own self-esteem as well. So accept payment. And here's the thing, even if you... Uh, don't want the money, you should still take it and put it somewhere else and do something for the both of you, perhaps. That could be something, if you're ever in this kind of situation. Because I do get that uh, once you have a lot of money, you just want to shower your friends with it. That is not a strange feeling at all. But if your friends are good people, then they also won't just accept that you're paying everything for them, either. So, if they try to reimburse you, save that money for something else. I'm happy that you feel that way. I, I must, <laughs> I must remove, you must remove some of the guilt you're feeling. Exactly. Yes, you have no idea of the battle that's going on inside my head. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's trip. Yes, it's going to be so much fun to both relax and party. Yes. I think so too. Do you think Melissa is still up for it? Is Melissa up for what? For tomorrow's trip? Fuck yes I am! I'd love to get away from this city for a while. That's great to hear. We should go to bed. We're leaving quite early tomorrow morning. Great. I'll crash on the couch then. Nonsense. You can share the bed with Megan. I'll take the couch. Next week, I'll make sure to buy a spare bed for you. Come on, I think all three of us could fit in the bed. You two are already sleeping next to each other, right? Yes, that, that's true. Alright then. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be happy about it, but... 
at the same time, how often does this kind of thing happen? Never. It's a visual novel. What the fuck am I saying? Whatever. <laughs> Good morning, Melissa. I was asleep. It was all right. I felt really safe next to you guys. How about you? It was fine, Melissa. But I got a headache again. It's been a while since last time. That doesn't sound very good, Kurt. You think it's the concussions that still haunts you? No, this just feels like a run-of-the-mill headache. Perhaps you should get a checkup before we leave. We won't be close to a hospital if something happens. No, Megan. I'll just take a couple of painkillers for it. And we're still at the hospital? So I've taken a look at the new, new tests. I'm very sorry to inform you this, and I'm af but I'm afraid that they look worse than what they did last week. Do they now? Are you listening to me? I said that I don't get why the treatment has stopped working. It is highly unusual. I'm afraid we are running out of options. Have you informed those closest to you of your condition? Ah! Oh. Not yet, Doc. The treatment isn't working for him. Have you informed those closest to you? Is that cancer? Does Liam have cancer? Is that why he's living it up every day like it's his last day? Episode 3 You convinced Liam to name his car the Blackmobile. You defended Liam against Peter's racist slurs. You called Liam out on his lie. You're Liam's friend. Liam has kept a huge secret from you. Yeah. No shit. You had dinner date with Leah. You had sex in public with Leah during the date. Leah wants you. You have rejected Melissa. She will remain your friend. You responded with violence when Peter provoked you. Peter beat Melissa because of your actions. Melissa loves that you care about her. <laughs> you hit Peter five times. Rena liked your improv. You didn't kiss Rena to help Megan's performance. I'm sorry, what? You didn't kiss Rena to help Megan's performance. What does that mean? I mean, I know we could kiss her. But how the hell does that help Megan's performance? You told Rena that you and Megan aren't exclusive. Rena is not interested in you yet. Rena is very excited for tomorrow's trip. You didn't help Megan and Rena practice for the play. I didn't? I guess not. You accepted Megan's offer to start paying uh, you back. Megan adores you for caring about her friends. Megan has strong feelings for you. You and Megan are now dating. Right. That's gonna bite my ass when it comes to Leo. <laughs> Are you okay? Fuck off! Oh, wow. This is back in high school, huh? <laughs> I've seen you in the corridor. I always liked your hair. It's really beautiful. I said fuck off! You fucking nerd! It's okay to feel sad, you know. When I'm sad, I think of my grandma. She died a couple of years ago. But she still can bring me so much joy. I remember how she used to braid my hair and tell me stories. The pain eventually fades. I'm sure that you will have those nice memories of your dad soon enough. How did you know? Students talk a lot. Kids can be so cruel. 
I'm Melissa. Nice to meet you, Melissa. I'm Megan. So, how does it look? I think we managed to cover it up pretty well. You look beautiful, Melissa. Also, also, thank you for lending me clothes. I don't feel like going home to get my stuff today. I understand, Melissa. Megan, you're the best. You do the same thing for me. That's what BFFs do. Okay. I think that was everything we need for the trip. Leon promised to pick up Rena and her friends, so we're good to go now. This will be so much fun. <laughs> Liam, feeling pumped? Why are you already in bikini? Fuck yeah, dude, we're heading there right now. Did you leave yet? We're about to leave, yeah. We're just about to leave. So we'll get there after you guys. Did you call for a re Did you call for a reason or just check up on us? <laughs> you would never guess who Rena's friends are. Who are they? Oh, you know, just two ladies named Angela and Hedwig. Yeah, Cabin of Temptation. Oh no. Oh, he <laughs> he. Whoopsie. If Rina's direction were correct, this is the place, and you can see the Blackmobile here as well. Either that or Liam parked at the wrong cabin. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks so comfy. Hey, you made it! Hi, Liam! Hi, Liam! Hey, pal! Did you, get, did you guys settle in? Yeah, yeah, the girls are inside unpacking. Hey, you girls should join them. I need to speak to Kurt for a bit. Stoked to see you, pal. You too, bro. So what's up? Rena and her friends brought a lot of booze. I just wanted to check with you how you want to do this. There's a lot of women here, but only one of you. You're here too, Liam. Dude, come on. Alright, yeah, he threw it up because uh, chemotherapy most likely. Yeah, it's cancer. I'm not interested in Megan or Missy. Rena looks like a smurf. Dude, she's hot! Fuck you! And you know, Angela Hedwig, it's pretty awkward for me. You know, since I didn't really go home with them last time. I get that, Liam. Are you going to tell me why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, later, but not now. We haven't got the time for it. For it. So back to my question. How do you want to do this? I look into our fun, don't do anything crazy. Uh, these are not exclusive. No, they don't exclude are not opposites to each other. Don't do anything crazy. Well, Megan and I are dating now, so please don't do anything crazy. While I absolutely respect that, you know that I still will make it a fun time, right? And I can't speak for what the other girls might do. I know, Liam. I still want to party. That's what I want to do here! Just let the good old days, huh, buddy? Let's go greet the ladies. Oh, wow. This is gonna be, this is gonna be hard on me. There he is! Hi, Rina. Lovely place you got here. Thank your mom for me. Thanks. I will. Make yourself at home. Everyone's already in bathing suits. What's up with that? Why do we keep running into each other, Kurt? Yeah, are you stalking us? Yes, you two are everywhere I go, it seems. Liam mentioned you guys already met. Small world, isn't it? It really is. We ran into each other last night before the play. You did? Yeah, my bitches were here there for support too. You know it, girl. Oh, wait. So many voices. 
This place is wonderful, Arena. Thanks! I love it here! So, what do you guys want to do today? Me and Henry want to lie in the sun for a bit. Yeah, and start today with some drinks. I like to go swimming. I need to practice for one of my auditions. Come on, Megan! We came here to relax! Yeah, I know. But it won't take all day, I promise. I really want a part in one of those movies. You and your movies, Megan. Either way, I need to prepare the cabin for now for a bit, a bit for today. Liam promised to help me. Yeah, of course. What about you, Kurt? Hmm, it's quite early. I should be able to squeeze in two activities before lunch. Help Megan practice, go swim with Melissa. Hang out with Angela and Hedwig, help Rena with the cabin. Huh, nothing will leave. Liam. Alright, uh, let's see. Liam promised to help you with the cabin, okay. So we don't need to worry about that as much. <sighs> and since we are dating, I guess Angela and Hedwig is out of the question. I think I'll join Melissa for a swim. It's a perfect day for it. Fuck yeah it is! Great. Have fun you guys. Let's meet up for lunch later. And how... Well, rather, what's going to happen when I'm out swimming with Melissa is something we'll be seeing in the next episode. But I am actually looking forward to see what's going to happen here at the cabin. They said we were going to make two choices, so I thought we were going to make them right away. But I'm guessing... We get four new options after the swimming with Melissa here. But, yeah. If you want to watch anything else that I've been playing, you can find it at the bottom of the screen. And remember, yes, because you're not the main character doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.